Well, she doesn't understand how her baby got it, but a local mom knows what it's like to live with a condition now linked to the Zika virus. It's called microcephaly. She shares her daughter's story and something she says is now an amazing gift with medical reporter Liz Bonus. Hi, Liz. Good evening, guys. This mother feels called to be a voice for children living with microcephaly. It literally means small head. Well, she has no idea how years ago her daughter ended up with this complication in pregnancy. Thelma Farrow does have a few things she wants all of us to know about it. What I would like to get out is about the microcephaly is, uh, yes, there's developmental delays, but there's also other problems. Farrow says she was offered what many moms now with babies diagnosed with microcephaly in pregnancy are offered too. I personally, I do not agree believe in abortion. I don't. But I mean, I also am glad that there is a choice out there for some people because some people may not be able to handle this. By this, she means the other complications Katie has endured for 23 years due to microcephaly. Katie is considered nonverbal and is on multiple medications to stop seizures. She has had them since she was six months old. And that's what most of them do to die from is the epilepsy. Katie has given her mother a lifetime of joy. Even though at birth, she says, her doctor thought Katie would barely survive. He told me that she would probably be stillborn and that um, if not, she would probably only live a, a couple of hours. Now, as Thelma plays one of Katie's favorite games with her, she realizes every day is a delicate balance for Katie in beating the odds. She is one of the only ones that has that is, you know, this old and is still living. I have a lot of people behind me, prayer and faith, and um, that's what's gotten us through this for so many years. Throughout her life, one of the things that her mother said is something we commonly hear about children living with this condition. They exceed expectations. Most recently, however, she said after 20 years, she finally heard some really special words. They would mean a lot to any mom, but especially to her. The simple sentence, I love you. You say love you? Love you. Love you. Thelma wanted to share Katie's story. Because everybody keeps telling me that God chooses special people to do this. And no doubt she is a special mom. But then Katie has a lot of special gifts too. She seems to lift others up who are around her. Yeah. Aww, we love you. Aww, oh, okay. I get hugs? Aww. Thelma knows Aww. when people see Katie and others living with developmental delays, they don't always see these gifts. But I just ask everyone to, you know, give it a chance. Give it a chance because these kids make you a better person than you would ever, ever, ever think about being. And these kids have a lot of fight and a lot of will in them. Oh, what a special mom. Katie's mom also says that she wants to let people know the earlier you start children with disabilities, with a therapy team, the more they're able to grow and thrive. The first baby born with microcephaly in the United States linked to Zika was born last month. Cam? Mm, great story, Liz. Thank you. Researchers are now working on a vaccine against the Zika virus, which also could help reduce the risk of this complication in pregnancy.